Hey everybody, it's Settler38. We're going to go into some baseball junk boxes since it's about World Series time. We'll see if we can get anything good. We've opened a few of these before. Haven't got too much. So, before we start, we're going to go for one or two. I'm going to think it's a last box mojo sort of thing. These were five bucks a piece over on RiteAid.com when they were still loading those, plus a little bit for shipping. But the last few times, it's just been a bunch of cards all strewn together. No signatures, no cards, maybe a pack or two of 91, what score? 90 score, I forget. We have 91 score. <laughs> well, at least that's consistent. So let's see what we've got in here. If there's anything worthwhile. I think we saw Daryl Strawberry last time. Tug McGraw Archives card. Don't know if that's a buyback or what. It says reprint, so it's not. Magadan, Raphael Palmero. Got a weird TCG of Dave Veras. Harkovice, Jim Gantner, the line of the shields off uh, 91 highlights. A lot of junk wax, including doubles there. Got an older card here. Steve Stone. That's kind of cool. 1981, John Fischel, Jim Leyritz during his playing times, Kevin Gross, Mark Leonard. We just got some pinnacles that were redone for football that looked nice. Rupert or Rupert Jones, another oldish card, 1978 there. Marvell Wynn, Mike Flanagan, pretty cool stash. Danny Heaps of some decently old cards, still on the uh, junk wax era. Chuck Finley, Pedro Martinez, uh, Legends, Century Legends here. That's pretty cool. I guess I'll put that down that way. Randy Myers, Kevin McReynolds, Sue Cliff, Larry Anderson, Gary Carter. Got a few, well, a bunch of junk around this way. Keith Hernandez. At least some names, even if they weren't the biggest ones. Bunch of Daryl Strawberries here. Tettleton. Dan Gladden. Oh, and they're still sticking, despite the fact they're not from the same set at all. Okay. That's a card that exists, certainly. Jeff Houston. Uh, Tewksbury, uh, score select, Saberhagen, I forget, I, I don't know if he's a Hall of Fame or not, Van Slyke, Cliff Floyd, Needlinger, we'll do the pack at the end of the second box, Dirty card for Bud Black, Juan Gonzalez, Flair, those are always cool looking back in the day, nice and thick card there. Bob Ojeda, and we end with Van Slyke again. Yep. That's a lot of cards that I think we saw last time we opened those. Oh, five bucks. You're not expecting a bunch, but no autos unless I just blasted past it. I can't fathom there being an autograph on any of those Junk Wax era cards. Weirder things have happened, though. So do we have the same pack in here? No, we have a different pack. It's 90 Flare. Or Fleer, excuse me. Yeah. So, peak of Junk Wax. Another Daryl Strawberry there. Uh, we're looking primarily those being this way. All right. Brian Meyer. Joe Torre. Kind of a newer card. 2005. 2006. Eckersley. So I was saying this was going to be slightly stronger of a box for what that is worth. Bob Boone. Todd Jones. And Scott Soraeus. Rob Deere, I remember liking him when I was a kid. I don't know why. John Olrud. Willie McGee, the line of the Shields. Gary Cooper, Frank Viola. Hey, J.D. Drew is name, I remember. S.P. Authentic. So, Upper Deck, 2000. Yeah, 2000 on the dot. Ramon Martinez. 
Greg Jeffries. My fingers aren't working today on these cards. I'm out of practice. That's why I was doing this run of junk to see what we can get into. Brent Smith or Brian Smith, Morandini. Devro, this is where the cards are just going every which way. Tibbs. Hey, I don't know this card at all. Pinnacle Shades. That's pretty fun. Bobby Bonilla. <laughs> Lenny Dykstra. 89 Don Russell on that. <laughs> Pete Harnish. His names I remember. <laughs> Nothing really of note there. Brent Main. We're ending here with Tony Fernandez. All right, so really nothing on that second box. Nothing to be expected with that second box. Do I have anything within hand distance that's baseball? I don't think so. We got these two packs. Let's see what we're going to get out of this, if anything. These sets are so large, it's beyond impossible to get just anything worth a darn. If I recall correctly, it was intensely, intensely hard to open these trash bag packs back then or today. So, even doing that didn't really help. There we go. Kind of. Those cards were already damaged. They are now. All right. Watch me pull nothing. You know, it couldn't just go and crack all the way through. There we go. Flair Cabrera. Geeker. <laughs> John Wetland. Jeff Reardon. Nothing. What's that last pack look like? I guess also nothing. That's Flair 90. But kind of a sus pack looking type thing there. Very easy to open. Don't know why you would be looking in this sort of stuff, but hey, that socks logo is pretty cool. Okay, what do we got? Henneman. Get this in the middle here. Nothing. <laughs> A lot of pictures here. Brett Sabregan again. Rick Roden. Jim Abbott, that was pretty cool. Dave Steeb, they have a whole show about him on, what, YouTube Secret Base sort of thing. Dave Parker. All right, so, like I said, we were kind of just getting back in form here with this. We'll have something more interesting slightly in the future. We've got some score football from this year, some fat packs. Have some optic basketball. I've been lazy and not opening. So, thanks for watching. As always, it's been Settler38. Hope you keep an eye out for all the new products I'll be uh, announcing here in the next little bit. Subscribe if you'd like. We'll be having a lot more in the future. We'll talk to you all later. Bye.